Let's go over how you can adjust the spacing between letters in Adobe Illustrator. This is known as kerning, and in Illustrator it can be accomplished either manually or automatically. So let's have a look at some of our options. First, grab your text tool, and then click between two of the letters to place your cursor between the two letters you'd like to adjust the spacing between. Now, hold your Alt key and use your left and right arrow keys to increase and decrease the spacing between the two letters. If you're using Mac, it would be the Option key. And now you can go through here one by one and adjust the kerning between each letter, just like that. Now, if you want to change the spacing between all of your letters, otherwise known as the tracking, you can just select all of them like that and now do the same thing. Use your Alt or Option key to change the spacing, just like that. Another option you can use is the Touch Type tool, which allows you to adjust the kerning manually by clicking and dragging letters. To do that, just hold a click over your text tool and look for where it says Touch Type Tool and select that. Now all you have to do is click on one of your letters and you can move it manually just like that, as you can see there. Now let's have a look at how you can use Auto Kerning. To use that, first highlight all of your text and then open the Character menu by going to Window and coming down here to where it says Type and selecting Character. From the Kerning dropdown, select Optical. And once you do that, your text will be automatically kerned, as you can see there. And that is how you can work with kerning in Adobe Illustrator.